name of the Emperor. Finish this! and welcome, Crusaders, I suppose, to the first episode of Let's Play Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Still part of Dawn of War 1's expansions. This proved to be a little bit more different, flexible, not quite so tied to a single player campaign that was fully scripted, although there's definitely some story behind uh, why this is happening. But <clears throat> overall, a nice change of pace and a good way to introduce some new races into the entire mix. We'll just ignore this blue fellow on the screen for a moment. And let's head into the campaign. And we'll start anew. On hard. The planet Cronus, beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the war, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, ancient enemies of the Necrons, emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers, Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions, and the total defeat of all others. Alright then. So we get to choose our faction. Ooh. Well, this was a bit of a decision to make. I'll not say it was a difficult decision in, in some ways because I've already played at every faction so really it just comes down to which one I like the best. And in some regards I kind of like the Imperial Guard in that way. But since we've already played the Imperial Guard more or less, not not specifically, I mean we had some Imperial Guard units in the first campaign and we of course fought against them in the Winter Assault. Uh, don't feel like playing as the Empire on this one. Similarly with the Space Marines. I know how they play. I know where they are. They are fun enough. But we've already done them. Similarly with Chaos, who plays very similar to the Space Marines anyway. And the Eldar, well, let's set for the Eldar, the better, really. I don't mind playing as them, but really the only reason I would be choosing to play as the Eldar so as to that I wouldn't have to do their particular home base assault mission. Because, lord, that one is annoying. 
And the orcs... Well, the orcs could have been fun. But we've already played with the orcs. Particularly this orc. Gorgots. So that really only leaves two factions that I have never played or had never played really before. But I might be interested in playing. The Necrons would be fun to play, sort of. Being more of my style, perhaps. A little bit more evil, although mm, technically I suppose the Necrons are not specifically evil. They're just opposed to all life. Well, this incarnation of the Necrons, I understand they have been changed in recent updates of the um, uh, mythos concerning 40k, but I don't know about that. So I'll just be going with what the description here says. However, the Necrons in many ways play a little bit too similar to the uh, Space Marines. I mean, there's plenty of differences, no less, but for the most part, the Necrons is just poncing about with heavy units, killing pretty much everything on the field. And, well, that can be fun. I've done that already. Besides, I don't particularly like the color scheme of the Necrons. Too much black and green. No, my choice is Mr. Tau. We are Shasakais, military commander of Tau forces on Cronus. While others fight for greed, pride, or conquest, you fight for the greater good. From high-tech battlesuits to fierce auxiliaries, your forces stand ready to reclaim the Cronus for the Tau Empire. Ethereal Shiorus has declared that you must push back the invaders. You will not fail. Well, we shall see. The rise of the Necrons and the arrival of other powers on Cronus was a threat the Tau Empire could not ignore. With their doctrine built firmly around the so-called greater good, the Tau could not tolerate seeing a thriving colony taken away from them. The Ethereals, leaders of the Empire, responded to the distress signals from Cronus by sending some of their best and brightest to retake the world. Aunel Shores was among the most lauded of a new generation of the ethereal caste. He would be responsible for restoring proper order to this wayward world. With him came the military leader, Shas Okais, a student of the teachings of Commander Puretide. Okais brought a massive force of firecast warriors, as well as auxiliaries from the Tau's allied races, the Krut and the Vespid. Tau ground forces landed in the city of Tashin, or Asharis, to use its true Imperial name. And from there began the crusade to retake the planet as a whole. Joy. Now, I don't particularly care for the Tau greater good, but at least the Tau do something for me that none of the other races really can. They break me of my old habits. For I tend to be a very defensive player. So I tend to hide behind turrets and all that and heavy artillery. As the Tau, you can't really do that because, well, they don't have any defensive buildings. Now... What to do first? There's a couple of special places on this planet I kind of want to take. Welcome it's... to the single-player campaign for Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. I don't need the tutorial windows. In particular, the uh, spaceport is very, very necessary. But we can't reach that just yet. So, let's see... Mm, getting some Fire Warrior Bodyguard wouldn't ba be bad. Let's see... I think... Yeah, we don't need Vespid. I would like the Spaceport, because it will allow me to strike everywhere. Taking out the Orcs wouldn't hurt. Although at the moment I kind of want the orcs to be, keep the uh, chaos busy. Uh, the Necrons most likely will be pushing for the spaceport even though they can't reach it this turn. 
and I but I need a little bit more of a footing before I can truly attack. I really need a special team, so I'll just start here and we'll see how we proceed from there. Alright, skilled combatant, the enemy force is likely because it's a basic infantry, the enemy has a single base, well that's good. Let's attack. The Agama Desert. Now we probably won't have to go into a very deep strategy for uh, this particular uh, attack. Alright, first off, I need a barracks. I don't think you can do that. And uh, let's get a couple of stealth teams out. So there's a couple more drones. Actually, let's check the sound because I thought it would share, but it does not. Alright, so we'll just put the effects down a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Send us toward the enemy. Stealth it is already ready. ours. Stealth suits ready and willing. Alright, let's get a couple of fire warrior teams that should help me secure the front. Before we go all out. Service required. And some plasma generators. Orcs, gun them down before they close to melee. Our hunt begins. XP-22 battle suit. This ready slow the enemy. As Alba wishes. The target is All ours. Weapons on the line. The fire can't serve with pride. Our bond is strong. We will silent hunters. Point us at our targets. Orders received. Our bond is strong. Fire team deployed. For the greater good. The silent hunters are ready. Point us at our targets. Like Tau, we shall triumph. Point us at our targets. None can stand. Before the breach to score the enemy, consider it. Shazla, ready for action. Moving out. Prosper, as Tau shall. For the greater good, it will be an honor. Right. Shazla, ready for action. Wasn't quite expecting oh, Gorgas to be here. I mean, it makes sense that he is here, but still. Let's just focus on what we do have. Do I have any more builders left? Alright, that should buy us a little bit of time. Shazla, ready for action. Point us at our targets. And I didn't lose my fire team. So. Stealth suits ready and willing. I do think I lost a stealth suit somewhere in there. We will take it right from under their noses. That is a pity, but overall it's probably fine. Alright, let's fortify this point. Stealth suit ready. Orders received. The technology of Tau makes us strong. It will be ours. Awaiting orders. Drop cranes inbound. Alright, just awaiting orders. Building up the forces a bit. Stealth team ready for next assignment. 
would like a couple of carnivore squads to give me a little bit of uh, interference so my fire warrior fire teams can ready and keep willing. active it is already ours And we can support another one. There. Yeah. And then we can start building them up. For next assignment. Awaiting orders underway. Stealth suits ready and willing. The silent hunters are ready. Groot and Tao stand as one. Yes, they do. Man. What do you want? Groot and Tao stand as one. The technology of Tao makes us strong. Right. Service required. Just a few more nodes. I should be uh, having enough income from the requisition to uh, ensure that I will remain. Ready to build. As four strong enough to deal with the orcs. Mission accomplished. Drop cranes inbound. The technology of Tao makes us strong. I'm mostly just capturing these so I can see what's going on. I probably want the ones on the top here, but I can't fortify the ones up here because, well, that's on the other side of the map, really. The enemy will have their base over there. And I will scout them out as soon as I have enough... Uh, supply to really take advantage of that. At least one more generator. The Earth cast will do its part. Service required. Command. Construction matrix engaged. Right. Service required. Let's get the path to enlightenment once I have the points. Mission accomplished for the great. All right, let's fill out the squads. Like Tao, we shall triumph. Get us to the fight. We hunt with patience. It is already ours. Service required. Each cast does its part for the greater good. We hunt with patience. They will never see us. Alright, so the orcs have already claimed that. None can stand Let's move before out. the great of Shasla, ready for action. Stealth suits ready and willing. They will never see just us. be scouts. For now, I just want you to see the enemy, not hurt, hurt the enemy. Service required. That doesn't suit my plans. Another victory for the greater good. The fire cast serves with pride. Point us at our targets. Alright, let's give them something to target. I will lead us to yes. victory. And that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.